impeachment, the impeachment trial officially over. The Biden administration wants to shift focus back to the sitting president's agenda. Top priority on Capitol Hill, passing a $1.9 trillion COVID relief package, a plan to provide Americans with $1,400 stimulus checks and expand the child tax credit already making its way through the House. So let's uh, have more conversation with Congressman Mike Quigley. He's a Democrat from Illinois' 5th District. Congressman, so now that the impeachment is done, I guess you, the, you, the House, the Senate can move on to other relief. President Biden has called for unity. Republicans have said, let's put this behind us so we can have unity. But it doesn't look like there's going to be unity with regard to the COVID relief package. It looks like you'll have to resort to what's called reconciliation, which is we'll do this without Republicans. Well, that's right. And I think the hardest part of that procedurally is over. The House and Senate passed that measure. Now it's a question of how we divvy up, for lack of a better expression, that $1.9 trillion in relief and care. Remember, about $160 billion of it is to uh, address the pandemic itself to get this vaccination in order, you know, move the Defense Production Act into full force so we uh, have a means to attack this appropriately. You know, recent uh, reports now tell us that the federal debt is going to reach 100% of GDP next year and in 2023, 107% of GDP. That actually breaks the record from back in 1946 when it was 106%. My point is, Republicans seem very concerned now about spending, and that's one of the reasons they don't want to put uh, too much effort behind the COVID relief package and such. Are you concerned about the growth of the deficit? Sure, uh, but first of all, I'm not sure they had the same concern the last year when it was a Trump presidency, right? They spent $4 trillion in a bipartisan effort to address the pandemic and the economic downturn that comes with it. Uh, President Trump's Fed chief, an all current living former Fed chief say, we have to go big right now. Uh, the concern at this point has to be that the economy doesn't crater. And they're saying if you go small, it has it has that chance of slipping into a recession and possibly worse. So uh, we have to get past this, grow the economy, and then address this over a long-term basis. Hey, I supported the version of Simpson Bowles that made it to the House about 10 years ago. It was called Cooper La Tourette. But if we start contracting right now, uh, we'll never get to a point where we can address that because our economy won't just falter, it will plummet. Just about 20 seconds left. Are you hearing positive things from your constituents? Do they have some hope that relief is on the way? You know, I, it's one of the things we hear all the time. Uh, obviously, in my district, we know we're hearing from restaurants, uh, fitness clubs, and uh, many other small businesses that are still suffering. Uh, this is far from over. But the concern remains there, and our constituents, while hopeful, need help. Congressman Mike Quigley, Illinois 5th District, thanks for spending your Valentine's morning with me. I appreciate that. Enjoy your day.